Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. For today's video, I wanted to show you how to get this look right here using two very new products that I'm super excited that I just purchased. I know that it's been a little while, so if you like to chit chat with me and catch up and see what's to come on my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks again for watching. Um, so as you can see, I do have my base on so far. I did do my primer, my lotions, my foundation, I did bronze a bit as well, and I did do my brows and put my eyelids for the eyeshadow that we're going to be using today. So for today, we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Ring the Alarm Palette. This is what it looks like right here. It's super pretty. It's colors, I just really gravitated towards its colors. I figured that they were really nice for spring. So, and I've seen lots of people doing coral, like, colors for spring right now and I was really inspired by that and also by my hair because it kind of matched the tones that I have in my hair although there are lots of tones in it right now um so yeah so that's what really gravitated to me towards this palette I know it's not a new one um however it is new to me um so before we get into the palette um and into today's look I just wanted to explain um what's been going on lately um so I've been off of YouTube for a little bit of time now and the reason that I haven't been recording was because I did move, which is super exciting, but it is a lot of work. So I moved from an apartment to a house. So as you can imagine, it's a lot more room, a lot of unpacking still, a lot of painting still. So there is a lot, a lot going on still. I'm still trying to kind of settle in and get everything prepped and ready to go. What I'm sitting in right now is actually my glam room, and I will be showing you guys little pieces here and there as I do finish them, but I'm still kind of in the process of organizing and seeing, okay, do I wanna put it here, do I wanna put it there? It took me a little longer to get back into recording and doing videos and editing, but I'm super excited to be back on track now. Um, I also had a passing um, in my family. Um, my grandmother passed away and super, um, I heard a lot. It did, I'm um, still feeling a lot of sorrow um, and I miss her a lot. She was my last grandparent alive um, and it's just, I'm going to miss her a lot. She was very tough, she was very strong. Um, but she did fight till the very end. And Abuelita, I know you're watching and I love you so much and just, um, you know, keep sending us blessings. Um, so, let's move on to today's look. So, for the palette today, I'm going to be using, again, the Jaclyn Ho Morphe palette. And I'm first going to go in with this color right here. This is the color Rush. And this color right here is more of an orange tone. It's really, really pretty, so I want to go in with that as my base. So I'm using this brush here by Farah, And it's just a big old blending brush. So I'm just taking some and dropping off the excess. And I'm going to be applying it to my crease right here. So as you can see, I'm starting right here because that's where I want most of the product to go. And then I'm bringing it inward, just like that. So you want to just apply right here and then blend it out. So just keep on blending until you're happy with how it looks. Pretty much nice and blend. You don't want any harsh lines. I do want to thank you all that are still watching and that have been supporting me for your patience and for your time and for your love and support as well. It's been a lot going on lately, but I'm excited to get back in front of the camera and film. I also wanted to let you guys know that I have some exciting changes coming to my channel I'm gonna be adding a lot more different things I like a lot of a lot of things not just makeup and hair and how to create accessories but I also like to cook and to bake and now that I have a home I would like to include some home decor things some DIY stuff as possible um, so I do want to include that into my channel so as you'll see I'm gonna have different segments on my channel now where I do cook where I do bake and these will be things that I love to do and things that I just think are really simple and easy and that everyone will really enjoy. So that's what I want to include into my channel. Um, so if you have any suggestions or if there's anything that maybe you're like, oh, I've always wanted to know how to cook this or how to make this, I pretty much make and bake anything. Um, so just definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd be so happy to hear what you guys think about my new changes to the channel and also to know, you know what you guys are interested in maybe learning to cook or learning to bake. So now that I have the space for it, I'm really excited to kind of expand my channel and really, really, you know, introduce different things and add that um, on here as well. So yeah, so I'm hoping that you guys will really like it. Um, and again, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear what you guys, you know, 
would like to learn and I'll definitely whip it up in the kitchen. <laughs> so now that that's nicely blended, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a deeper color. I'm gonna alert right here. It's a bit of a more orangey, browny tone. So I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go right at the edge. So I'm gonna focus this color more on the edge. I'm not gonna bring it in as much. I'm actually just tapping it in right here and as you can see I'm doing circular motions just like that and then once it's blended more so at the edge here I'm going to slowly bring it in and I'm only bringing it in so that I can diffuse the two colors together. So you can see that the color is focused right here but I'm bringing it in just so I can kind of you know really have a nice transition and not look just blotchy color color color. So the same here, so again I'm just tapping it in, applying it right here in circular motions. And after it's applied, again just blend it out. I'm so excited that spring is upon us. It's finally starting to get warm and I'm getting so excited. I love all these spring colors, the flowers are blooming. It just looks so pretty everywhere. I'm just super, super excited. Okay, so now that that's nicely blended, we're gonna be taking a smaller brush. And I actually got this in my Ipsy Glam Bag. This is by SLM Miss Glam. SLM Miss Glam. This is the short shader brush. So it's super cute. So any brush like this will do. This is just to get like underneath and get the shadow really nice and blended underneath right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Rush, which is the first color we use, and go right underneath and all throughout. Take your time when blending eyeshadows underneath. I know that even when I'm doing makeup on clients, sometimes you know I'll kind of put a little bit and then I'll stop so they can kind of breathe and you know blink a little bit and kind of readjust their eye and then I'll go back in because I know that sometimes it can be, it doesn't hurt, but it's just an annoying kind of feeling. So when you're doing this, just take your time. There's no need to rush, unless you're in a rush. <laughs> just go back and forth, just like that. Just so you can get some shadow right underneath. Now I'm gonna go back into the color Alert, which is the second shadow we use. And I'm gonna just keep it right at the edge right here. Okay, so I'm going from like the middle of my eye right here to the edge, middle to the edge. And I'm just going back and forth right here. And that's gonna just tie this darker color right here together. So it kind of gives you like an elongated type of look. It's gonna look really nice and sculptured. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna be going in with the color Bomb Ass. Yes, Bomb Ass, which is this color right here. This color right here is probably the reason why I bought this eyeshadow palette. When I saw this, I was like, hmm, there's so many different palettes to choose from. And I actually was gonna go with like a green kind of blue tone because I love greens as well. But then I saw this and I was like, oh. I was like, it's so hard to find a color like that. Like you don't come across that type of color all the time. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that one. So this is where I put the palette. So I'm actually gonna take my ring finger and I'm gonna go right into Bomb Ass and I'm gonna just kind of swirl it in there. Get enough product on my finger and then tap it. And then I'm gonna, see I have some right here. I'm gonna apply it right onto my eyelid, just like that. You want to apply this all over your eyelid. And you don't even need a brush to apply most of the glitter shadows like this. Just your finger is more than enough. And then after you've applied it, kind of move upward onto your crease and blend it. Just as if you were blending with a brush. is bomb. Jaclyn Hill color is bomb. Okay so now just to add a little bit of pop and glam I'm gonna be going into the color Lolly right into the color Lolly right here and I'm gonna also take the same shade of brush I'm just gonna take the other side of it and I'm gonna just slightly tap it in there and I just want to add the color right here towards the inner corner of my eye just right here. I just want to add a pop you see how it just has that little bit of shimmer that's what I want to do. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Just like that, it's so pretty. Same to the left eye. So I'm going to 
this right here. Kind of just highlighting the inner corners, but using one of those really pretty colors that way you can kind of tie it together really nicely. So now I'm gonna just pop on some mascara. This is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. So I'm gonna just apply some onto my lashes. I'm gonna apply falsies today. So I just wanna apply a little bit. So I'm gonna be applying the Red Cherry Lashes. This is in the style of Donatella. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna be going on to the rest of the pink. And this one is my Tarte. This is the Quirky blush my heart. So I'm going to be taking this on um, quite a large brush. Tapping off the excess and just applying some onto the face. And now I'm going to be going on to highlight. So to highlight today, I'm going to be using this one by Estate. It's called Do Me. It's a pearl powder, super, super pretty. So I'm going to be taking this on a smaller brush and highlighting my face. And now to finish off this look, I have another new product which I'm super, super excited about, and that is the Kylie Lipstick. This is in the color Crush. It is super, super pretty. This is the packaging right here. And I saw this color and I was like, oh, springtime. That's all I thought. So I just needed to get it. Obviously, it's super pretty. Just love it. So I'm going to be applying that onto my lips. And because it's so pointy and it's so new, I'm gonna actually use the lipstick itself to kind of help line my lips as well as apply the lipstick. So now to finish off the last step, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Primer Water. And this is the photo finish one. So I'm gonna just spray this all over my face and that'll be all. Of course, close your eyes. Mm. Okay, and this is the final result. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial as well as chit-chatting and catching up with me. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe down below and give me a big thumbs up. It'll really help to support my channel. And until next time, remember to always create a life that you love.